Have you been hearing that there will be a housing slowdown? Today we are going to talk about whether you need to worry about a housing crisis or not. Hi, I'm Angela Duong with Coldwell Banker Tiga Realtors and MadHomesUtah.com. If this is your first time to our channel, please go ahead and take a moment to hit that subscribe button down below. Okay, here's the deal. The word recession is all over the financial websites and financial newspapers. The word recession does not have to be a scary word if you know the facts and don't go into a panic. Let me share with you some details that will help you understand. There is a good possibility we are going to have a recession in the next 18 months. We have to realize with the democratic debate starting and with the economy doing as well as it is, we are going to start seeing and hearing more talk about is the economy faltering? And the word recession is most likely going to come up. The main reason that there will be a lot of talk about this is that there have been four major surveys so far this year, one by the Wall Street Journal, one by Duke University, one by the National Association of Business Economists, and one by the Pulsonomics, who surveys a little over 100 market analysts. And they each asked a question in their survey. When will the next U.S. recession begin? Here's a graph of the details of all the four surveys. Now, to make it more simple, we have combined all the people who had done the survey and at that point and divided it by four. So here's the combined total of each year from all four surveys. Take a look. As you can see, 21% believe that we're going to have a recession sometime before this year is over. And 46% believe that we're going to have a recession sometime next year. So as you can see, 67% that's two out of three of all the people surveyed in all four of those surveys said that we are going to come across recession between now and the end of next year. And as you most likely know, next year is a presidential election year. Here are two quotes from last year when they did a study and looked back at 2008. The 10 year anniversary of the crash of 2008, they looked back at it and they said, what were the major challenges that happened in 2008 to cause the whole economy to crash, the worldwide economy to come to its knees? First, from Ben Benaki, I don't know if I'm saying that name right, last year he said, my results do suggest that in the absence of the panic, the declines in employment, consumption, and output at the early stages of the Great Recession would have been significantly less severe. So what Ben is saying, if people didn't panic, 2008 would have been nowhere near as bad as it actually wound up being. The second quote is from Warren Buffett in a 2018 Wall Street Journal interview again, looking back at 2008, 10 years later, he said, fear spread like a tsunami in 2008. So what we are saying is the word recession is going to come up and people are going to equate it to what happened in 2008. Here is something to remember. Recession does not equal housing crisis. Let's go to the Merriam website dictionary and look at the definition of the word recession. A period of temporary economic decline during which trade and industrial activity are reduced, generally identified by fall in GDP in two, successive, two consecutive quarters. What is GDP? Yes, I had to Google it. A simple definition is the gross domestic product or GDP measures the value of economic activity with a country. GDP is the sum of the market values or prices of all final goods and services produced in an economy during a period of time. So why are so many experts predicting that we'll have a recession in the next 18 months? We are in the longest recovery in American history. So of course there's going to be a slowdown coming. We can't keep in a recovery state forever. So again, recession does not mean housing crisis. It will not have the same results as what happened in 2008. Take a look at the numbers for the last five recessions. In the 2008 recession, home prices dropped 19.7%. But if you take a look at the four recessions before that, three out of the four times prices went up and the other time the home prices dropped, it was only less than 2%. Let's go back to when I talked about the four surveys that were done. The most current survey, which was done, which was the Pulsonomics survey of analysts, 
They were asked, when will the next U.S. recession begin? On just that one, 9% said 2019 and 50% said the recession would happen in 2020. That's 59% that believes that the next recession is coming in the next 18 months. What you might not have heard was that those same exact analysts on the same day were also asked, what is going to trigger the next recession? Go ahead and take a look at that slide too. The top three triggers were number one is probably going to be trade policy. Number two, there could be a stock market correction. And number three, a geopolitical crisis. Housing slowdown is clear at number nine. That means there are eight things that are going to happen that will trigger the recession before they even get to a housing slowdown. In 2008, the housing slowdown and the situation in the mortgage in industry is what caused that recession. This year, it is not even in the top eight. Those same people on the same survey also projected where the prices were going to be over the next five years. Take a look at this slide. As you can see, this year should finish up at about a 4.1% appreciation. It's going to slow up over the next two years and then will recover to normal historical appreciations, which is somewhere between three and a half and 4% on an annual basis. So as you can see, those same people projecting a recession are also saying home prices are not going to depreciate. Appreciation is going to decelerate, but prices will still continue to go up. So all we are going to see is a slowdown in the amount or the percentage that homes are going up. I like what Morgan Housel, a well-renowned financial analyst said, an interesting thing is the widespread assumption that the next recession will be as bad as 2008. Natural to think that way, but statistically highly unlikely. Could be over before you realized it began. Well, that's it guys. I hope that you found this video informational. Please consider sharing to share to get the word out that there is no need to panic, that we're not going to have a housing crisis. And again, I'm Angela Duong with Coldwell Baker 2 Gov Realtors and MadHomeJuta.com. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, comment, like, share, and look forward to seeing you in the next video.